Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how we can automate the process of using VLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel. Let's say if you are automating any Excel report or any Excel task, during your automation, you want to use the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. Then here we will explain you how you can use the VLOOKUP function using VBA code. Here we have two worksheets. This is the first worksheet wherein we have date, employee ID and we have employee name and supervisor name missing here and we have sales. Then we have the employee master wherein we have the employee ID, employee name and the supervisor name. We want to fill the employee name and supervisor name using the VLOOKUP. But we want to automate this rather than putting the manual VLOOKUP. So let's go to the developer tab and visual basic and we will insert a module here. In this video, I will explain you two methods to use the VLOOKUP using VBA. The first method, we will use the normal Excel VBA function. So we will create a sub procedure here, sub VLOOKUP formula 1 and just enter. The first way how we will use the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel using the VBA code. So let's close this window and here we have first sheet as the sales data, another one is the employee master. We will use a normal method like we use in the VLOOKUP. So we can put here manual VLOOKUP for the first time. Let's use this range, comma, come to this sheet and select this range A to C and we will use comma 2 comma 0 and just close the bracket and hit the enter. So we are getting the name. Similarly, if I will copy this formula and I will paste here and I will change this 2 with 3, then I will get the supervisor name also. So this is the manual method. So we will use the same step here. So let's put Excel on the half window and this VBA in the half window. We can use window and right arrow key to put it in the half and in the rest half we will put this Excel. First we will declare a variable dim sh as worksheet and we will use set sh equal to this workbook dot sheets and we will use for sales data sheet. You have to use the same name as it is appearing here. Now we will take a variable to get the last row because we will make it dynamic. If tomorrow you will add more data, it will consider automatically. We will take a variable here dim lr for the last row as integer or you can take long if your data is more but here we have few records so we will take integer only and then we will set the last row so we will use lr equal to, to get the last row we can use here ss.range a and application dot rows dot count application dot rows dot count will get the number of row, rows here in this worksheet of the column a then we will use here end dot excel up dot row okay let me show you how it is working to get the last row first it is going the last row of this worksheet of column a here then we are using here control and up arrow and upside then whatever is the row that is our last row. In this case we have the row number 16. Now on the column C2 and column D2 we will use this formula. So we can simply copy this formula from here and we can use ss.range C2 dot value equal to and in the inverted comma just paste that formula. Copy this and paste here. Here we will take D2 for the supervisor column and in place of 2 we will use 3. Rest will remain same. Now we can delete this. If I will run this then here you can see it is filling automatically. Now the next step is we have to fill this down till the last row. So we can use here ss.range C2 till D and whatever is the LR dot fill down. Okay. Now let me show you if I will delete this and if I will run this macro, automatically it is filling down this formula. Alright friends, if you want to remove the formula and you want to make it value, you can simply 
copy this code and paste here and here you can mention copy then paste again and you can use paste special and here you can take value all right let me show you if i will delete this and if i will run then it is copying and pasting special value but this copied range is still appearing so we can put here application dot cut copy mode equal to false all right now let me delete this once again and let's see run so it is working so this was the method one and how you can put the formula but here I will tell you one thing if you are using the fixed lookup value for example let me delete this and for example to put the supervisor name let's say I am using the hard code employee name this one then what I have to do here I can put in the inverted comma this one and here I will take from V because the employee is available here from B to C okay and in place of 3 I will use 2 so I will get the same supervisor name but we are taking here fix I'm just explaining you if you have the case take lookup value in the inverted comma then how you can use in the VLOOKUP so let's copy this and if I will use let's say ss dot range d2 dot value equal to and paste this one then it will show some error so if you are using the inverted commas in your formula you have to put that twice like this then it will work let me show you let comments this and stop till here let me delete this and run so it is working but it will not work because we have fixed this lookup value so it will give all same supervisor name it was just for the example if any case you have to use the inverted comma within your formula then just put it twice all right let's delete this delete this okay so it is done now i will explain you the second method how we can put the vlookup so let's delete this let's create another sub procedure vlookup formula 2 okay now here again we will take the variable for the worksheet and the last row so I am copying the same to saving the time so we will take another variable for the employee master worksheet so let's copy this code and paste here we are taking employee underscore sh worksheet and just paste here also set employee underscore sh we will change the name of the worksheet so just copy this one and paste here Alright, so we have taken three variables, two for the worksheet, another one for the last row. Now, let's come back to the previous worksheet. Okay, so here we will put a loop and we will use the application dot worksheet function. So, let's take dim i as integer. Okay, and we will use for i equal to and we will run our loop from row number two because we have to put the formula from row number two. So, we will use 2 2 we will run this loop till the last row which is lr lr and here we will put next type now inside this we will use a vlookup function on column c and column d so we can use here sh dot range c and i because we have put the loop so row number will be dynamic on the basis of i dot value equal to and here we will use the application dot worksheet function and dot we will use vlookup okay so you will get the list of all worksheet functions here and now we will put the bracket and like we use the syntax in the excel worksheet similarly we will use here first we will provide the lookup value lookup value will be our column b and dynamically it will be v2 then, then the next cell it will be v3 so we will use sh dot range b and i okay so dynamically it will be changed now put comma 
table array table array will be from the employee master seat and that will be a to b in this case or you can take a to c and you can put 2 comma 0 okay like we have done in the manual vlookup function so we will use here employee worksheet which is emp underscore ss variable dot range a to c just close this and we will put here 2 comma 0 and just close the bracket and hit the enter so this is for column c let's copy the same and paste here and this will be for column d for the supervisor name here but we will take 3 here in place of 2 all right so this is done let me show you if i will run this now here you can see we are getting the employee name and we don't need to paste a special value because it is coming from the BBA. It's not the manual Excel function. So automatically it will return value only. Alright friends. Now here I will tell you one scenario. Let's say let's come to the employee master and let's say employee ID 10005 is missing. Just delete this. Okay. Come back to the previous sheet and let's delete this. Now come to the first macro and here if I will run you can see it is returning has any here because we use the VBA and if the lookup value is not available in the table array it will return the has any. We can use here if error if we want to prevent this error but let's delete this from here for now. What will happen if I will run this code run it is returning some error. So what we can do, let's end this here. We can do two things here. First, we can use here on error resume next while running this loop. So let's put here on error resume next. And here we can put on error go to zero. All right. Now if I will run, then here you can see it will escape that particular record wherein we don't have the employee ID. But if you want to show the has any error here, then what you can do, I'll tell you one trick. Let's delete this and let's delete this. You can remove the worksheet function here. Just use application.vlookup. Delete this. Application.vlookup only. Now, if I will delete this and I will run it. It is returning as an error. Alright friends, these are few methods. You can use VLOOKUP function in Excel worksheet using the VBA code. You can use this within your automation project. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.